All right. <laughs> I wanted to get this on, on, on document. I wanted to get this documented. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> um... <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm about to, like, drive to this post... This drop box, right? So, okay. So I applied for a passport back in July. You know, for the first time. I did all the paperwork. I paid for expedited service. I never got my passport booked, though. They gave me the card. So I had it delivered to my mom's house because um, I just don't like stuff that being delivered to my apartment. But look, so there's a box over there. So, all right. I um, did a whole letter and everything. So pretty much I just drop it in, right? See, look. I pull up. <laughs> all right. So you're just dropping in, right? Check it out. Look, I did all this by myself. I got a step and everything. All right. I don't want to cause a line or anything. All right. So you're just dropping in, right? Oh my God. Oh, 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 what the fuck? Holy fuck. I can't believe I just did that. Ooh. Okay. So yeah. Wow. That's the first time I ever did that. 27 is officially the prime of my life. First, um, well, I got my apartment back. Like I got a new apartment because I was living in my car and not a friend's house. <clears throat> and then um, I went to California for that flight attendant interview. I went to the Golden Gate Bridge and stuff like that. Now I just dropped the letter off at the post office, at the box. Never did that before. Y'all saw the letter? I did that. I did all that. I mean, I had to look it up on YouTube again because that was like, probably like the second or third time I've ever sent something, you know, like mail-wise. Um, I don't do it enough, clearly. But, um, so yeah, the story goes like this. So, um, I applied for a passport back in July. I don't know what I'm doing because everything at this point, like doing something extra besides work or whatever, it's just so mentally, like, exhausting and it's just like oh my gosh it's like a drag you know it's like oh like, i don't want to do it like i don't want to do it maybe some of y'all can relate it's like you know you get that feeling it's like if it's something other than like your normal schedule and there's a cop right here um then it, it's, it's not gonna work out for you sorry oh, i don't know why i get so nervous because my bumper's out and now I'm gonna get a ticket for it. Just chilling right there, huh? Okay, anyways. So yeah. <sighs> get together, man. Get together. I just wanna get a ticket. I dig it. It's one last thing I need my plate. So I applied for a passport and like yeah, like as I was saying, maybe it's something I can relate because um, it's like, damn, man, like, I do all that stuff, and I just don't want to. I just want to, like, go to a store and, like, fill out a form and pay for it and get my passport. And that's it. But it doesn't work like that. You got to do all this stuff. So, anyways, those of you who have passports, you know what the deal is. So, I paid for expedited service. Expedited, which means, like, you just get it a lot faster, and I paid for it. But the dude didn't tell me I had to pay extra for it. He just said, you want expedited. I was like, what that mean? What does that mean? It's like, oh, you get it in, like, two to three weeks instead of five to six I'm like, okay, sure. I mean, it should have been like obvious, but anyways, I, I had it delivered to my mom's house and everything. And my sister texted me, hey, yeah, you got a package. I think it's a passport. I was so excited, you know, cause you got like that, that yellow envelope and it's like government official, stuff like that. It's like, damn man, this is it, this is it. So I open it and it's the card. I'm like, oh, cool, you know, what's up? So I look for the book, I don't have the book. It's not there. So yeah, there's a letter saying like, oh yeah, you get like a, a you get your passport book or card and a separate mailing from your first document or first thing. And I was like, okay, sure. So I waited and waited and waited all this time. That was in July or pretty much late July, early August. It is almost the middle of October. And uh, yeah, so I waited and I called and apparently I should have called a while back. They give you like 90 days from the date that it, uh, your passport was delivered to you. And then um, they give you 90 days and then like, uh, if you don't like report it lost or stolen, 
you have to do it all over again. So I have like a little less than a month. So I barely got it taken care of. I don't want to do it because I was just like so frustrated. I was all like mad and I was like, what the hell? You know, I just want my passport. Like, I just want my passport, you know, <laughs> you know, because I want to plan a trip. But like, I haven't necessarily been saving the money for a trip overseas because well, I don't have my passport. And it's like, I don't really have anything to like motivate me. You know, I felt like if I had that passport in my hand, looking at it, seeing my picture, my information, you know, seeing all those blank pages with no stamps, I feel like it'll, it'll be just enough to motivate me um, to, to start saving up and stop wasting my money on dumb stuff and go on that trip already. My air conditioner makes my eye, my eyes watery. But yeah, guys, it's like a long process. First, I had to go to the library and print out the forms, and then I had to go to um, the post office. And well, first, I had to go to the post office check if the my actual passport was there or, you know, um, you know, uh, turned in. <laughs> Sorry, if it was turned in, it wasn't. So, yeah, post office, then a library, print it out, and then a Walgreens to get a stamp. <laughs> And then they were like, oh, yeah, we only sell the book, which is like $11. I'm like, I don't need an $11 book. I just need a stamp. That's it. So, yeah, I have to go back to the post office, <laughs> get a stamp, one stamp. Okay, cool deal. Should have got a freaking envelope. Had to go home <laughs> because I didn't want to look all dumb and go back inside and get an envelope. And I, I just didn't want to look dumb and like, like, oh, my God, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. You know, so instead of doing that, instead of going back inside, I went all the way home, got a damn envelope, looked up on YouTube, how to send a letter. Now I just dropped it off and now I'm home, or I'm going home. Whew, man, this is just like a rant video. It's not really a vlog, it's just like a rant video. I just wanna be heard, yo. I just feel like all this is not necessary, you know? It's like, okay, like I, I might not ask for a lot, but like I'm just, Asking for this one time if I could just get a passport, maybe get a little motivation so I can take a trip somewhere. It's like now I gotta do all this. Like, God, man, like why me? Like I paid like for expedited service to get it faster and I still didn't get it. Anyways, <laughs> I'm just complaining. I feel like, I, I just feel like I shouldn't have to have, like I should have never had to do all this. Like, never. Like, why? Man, I always sound like gas. It's almost 5.30. <laughs> Man. I like nothing saved up for a trip, either. <sighs> but anyways, um, if you have questions about getting a damn passport, please ask me. Please. Please ask me. Because I know every step now. <laughs> I know every freaking step. I know what to do. How to get a passport if you never got your passport if you lost your passport if it was stolen i know how to do all that <laughs> ask me drop a comment <laughs> give me a like give me subscribe make sure to share this to all your friends and family on facebook twitter instagram blah, blah, blah. <laughs> i'm having a little fun all right i'm almost home all right guys <laughs> thanks for listening to my kind of vlog what was that thanks for listening to my vlog kind of my complaining vlog my whiny vlog ah, like all this shit man just get it done and get your passport already i'm such a baby sometimes but that's that's the price i get for uh, not working on myself growing up so i gotta gotta teach myself how to be a man sometimes sometimes i feel like i'm almost there but a lot of times like yeah nah you sound like a lot of work but anyways thanks for listening uh, make another video really soon. Uh, my last day with the with my, the company I work for is on Thursday. So yeah, ready for a change. Ready to start making changes and travel. All that good stuff. <laughs> All right, see ya.